an intro, even though we have officially started for the Twitch. Okay, welcome back everyone. This is, of course, Great Detective Pikachu. We are continuing our Let's Play with this. This will coincide with Let's Play episode number 5, starting from here. And we are starting a new Twitch live stream. This whole series is going to be uh, streamed live. So we've got that nice interactivity with the stream. It's good to be back and it's good to have you all here. And um, if you're new to coming into the stream for this particular game, what we do, because my experience in Pokemon is very limited, especially in terms of the names of the Pokemon, I'm going to be asking quite a lot to what's the localized name of the new Pokemon that we meet throughout our detective journey. Ah, so that's one fun bit of interactivity for everyone. But um, yep, that's going to be about it, and we're going to continue on with the story. Alright, so, have a look at this box. Okay, so it's a desk that Barry uses. Nothing super important there. Okay. That's just documents and stuff. Hey, Jason, welcome. <laughs> Why does it say I'm playing Pokemon Yellow? Good question, because there's there's no game... Like, Twitch doesn't have this game recorded in its system, so even if I go to type the name in it, it doesn't come up. So, I've got to put something in there. <laughs> Otherwise, it just says I'm playing nothing or not playing. Thank you very much, Jaso. Thank you, and welcome back. Welcome to the stream. I guess there's just a whole bunch of things that are... document-related and making him look busy. And he had some sort of feeling or signal to do with this. I don't know. It's not important. Yeah. All right. So let's talk to this dude. Okay. In autumn, in Lime City, Rhyme City, at the university. He's saying something about someone passing and congratulations. Why? What? He heard it from Harry, and he was looking forward to his visit. Alright, so this has prompted us to have a whole bunch of questions for him, finally. Okay. Alright, so we're going to ask you about the incident involving Harry, who, as some people might not know yet, that is the father of the protagonist here, Tim who has since gone missing. Okay, so we're asking if there were any weird things surrounding um, the incident of his father missing, I guess. And he goes, I'm sorry to say, but right now, there's nothing specific that I can tell you. Okay, now let's ask him about Pikachu. Um, Pikachu, was he also involved in the incident somehow? Ah, at the site, at the place, he was felled, he was knocked over, knocked down. And he brought him back to this office, I'm not sure. Okay, now we're asking about, I think, what his father was trying to search out. Was it a Pokemon-related incident? Ah, so one year ago, about one year ago in this city, there was an incident in that involved Pokemon. Oh, and these incidents were increasing. Incidents caused by Pokemon. Uh, 
since half half a year ago, him and Harry got a request to to like check it out. They came here to check something out. So that's the reason that his dad came to this city. Okay. Alright, I really need to translate this word because it keeps coming up and I have no idea what it is. Is that Kezan? Kezan or Ke? It's going to be pretty important. So bear with me for a sec. Not Kezan. Ah, uh, how do you say police? Been too long, man. Police. I'm definitely picking up my Japanese studies again. It is very necessary. Policeman. Yeah, there's the one. That's the word I want. Yeah, care. There it is. I think this must mean, like, police office? Police inspector. Okay, Kebu. That's my new Japanese for the day. Hello, hello. About the police inspector just before. The police inspector is the friend of Harry and himself. He's a veteran police inspector. And his name is Holiday, I think. And he's a very reliable, someone that you really like to rely on. He's a very reliable man. Okay. Now, ask him about his partner, Baker's son. Do you also have Pokemon partners? Ah, yes, that would be a Gilda. I'll introduce you. Please come out, a Gilda. A Gilda. All right, here's your opportunity. The first one for this stream. What is the name of that Pokemon in the localization? Okay, favor, we, favor me with your kindness as I will to you. Oh, and all of a sudden it's gone again. Axelgore? Am I saying that right? Axelgore. Would he make a good partner in a detective agency? <laughs> the ninja bug, yeah. Oh, that, that's actually a, a bug? Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. It's all coming around making sense. I was investigating that, um, that filing cabinet over there and he was saying that he had a sense that something was hidden and that he sensed a partner or something and that's what it was. <laughs> it was, it was hidden? That's amazing. Yep, these sorts of things, these sorts of Pokemon do exist, I guess he's saying. All right, so what else we got to look at? So there's a police, some sort of police report or something, uh, or a request from the police, I guess. Yeah, there's lots of, they're giving the d detective agency lots of work, it seems. And what the hell was that? Excel girl. Hello to the people coming. This is a great Detective Pikachu. Not, uh, not Pokemon Gold Edition, uh, uh, Yellow Edition or whatever, as I named it in the strum. All right, so let's talk to Pikachu. 
<laughs> what are you doing on my hat? Do not touch the freaking hat. Okay, so here's some letters of thank you for people from people that have had their mysteries solved for them. And it's also All right, very cool. Not important. Now we're talking to this little one. Remind me, what's this Pokemon's name? There's another one. No, don't change it, Deso, it's good. I need to I need to put that there because as I said before, yeah, there's no Twitch doesn't recognize this game in the system, so it's good to just have a Pokemon, any Pokemon game in there. I put the Pikachu edition one because hey, that's the closest thing pretty much. Ah, we are back, says Pikachu. Um, this is Amanda. She does things like gets the paper for us. And she delivers letters and, um, like luggage and stuff. Or just like parcels, I guess. And this Pokemon says, Yako. And it looks like this Pokemon um, helps Amanda out as well. Okay, let's ask about Amanda. <laughs> Subtly hinting that I'm going to stream Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> it is the very first Pokemon game that I ever played. Yayakoma. Okay, speaking of Amanda, what sort of person is she, you ask? Yako. <laughs> She's a kind and reliable sort, I think. But compared to our abilities, we're completely different in what we're good at, I guess that might mean. Okay. Actually, talk to her. Um, um. Well met. You've come from a long way. Good to see you. And um, yes, surely you have been worrying about your father. Ah, yes. And speaking of which, I guess her his mother is also worried. But she also, but she is busy. She's got work, so she's not able to come. She doesn't have any good reason to come away from their home to this place. So that's why he's come, I guess. And that's why you're here. All right, let's ask about her to her face. So are you also a detective, Amanda? No, no, I'm an assistant. Um, the, I guess, the boss here. And the stuff that he's trying to research or find out, investigate. I, I put them together in the reports. I make reports. And I also consult with uh, potential clients and stuff. Those sorts of things. Ah, do you have an interest in Amanda, do you? Says Pikachu with a wry smile. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> huh? You're mistaken? Uh, no, it's not that. I that <laughs> Pikachu's put him in like a really awkward position. Ah, uh, Pikachu. I... Um, speaking of this detective agency, I I was just interested in what goes on here, that's all. Ha 
Is that what it was, he asks. Lol. <laughs> Pikachu keeps trying to set me up with Amanda. How old does he think Tim is? Let's ask about Harry. Okay, so from your point of view, what what kind of person, how, what do you think of my father, I think he asks. Ah, but I'm to say this in front of his son? I can't say anything bad about him, she says. Huh? I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> He's, um... A very smart, knowledgeable, and he's full of experience. Um, and I predict that you will be taking after him. By it, it seems like you're you've got his qualities. I would, I would predict. And he is beloved by. Our clients as well. Okay, now let's ask about Baker. Okay, what sort of person is Baker? How is he? What's he like? Ah, oh, damn. This word gets me every time. Every time I play a game in Japanese. It's one of my enemy words, because it's not, it's not that difficult, it really isn't. But I seem to forget it every time. Okay, omoyari. I think it means considerate, that's my guess. Omoyari. Yep, considerate. Good, I remembered it before my dictionary told me. Oh, he's very considerate. Yeah. However, there are some there are some things about him that you can't rely on sometimes. <laughs> ah, but what I just said now is a secret. Let's keep that a secret, please. <laughs> and as for the as for the stuff that um, the power and abilities that a detective yeah. needs. I think he has those qualities. He has the he has the stuff. And I heard that he gets along very well with my dad. Yes, um, your dad often comes here to uh, to meet him and do things. He thinks that they're a good combination, they make a good team. Okay, let's ask about Pikachu, and that stupid bird is really starting to piss me off. Alright. So Pikachu, does he always eat um, sweets? Because when we first were introduced to this office, we saw him eating the biscuits, which he didn't really think that they tasted that good. Um, I think she's saying like the first time that they met or <clears throat> a while ago, he never used to um, have an interest in sweets and in uh, sweets and cookies and stuff like that. But when Harry is out of the office, he becomes lonely. Shut up, bird. Okay, let's ask this again. So no matter where Harry goes, Pikachu was always with him. Oh, I get it. I thought, yeah, I thought Pikachu, yeah, I completely missed this. I thought Pikachu was the partner of Baker as well, but Pikachu is the partner of Tim's dad, Harry. And he's starting to maybe eat more sweets and in, 
Why do I keep saying insects? This is so funny. Sweets and cookies and stuff like that. Since he's disappeared, that yakko bird is going to be going into a fucking pokeball if I can. <laughs> Pardon the French. It's supposed to be a kid's game. No swearing, RFG. Alright, very good. And she said it's kind of like her yakko bird thing. Got that bird. Okay. Shall we go already? Yes? No. Well, I guess. I don't think we've got anything else to learn. Okay, we're going. I just need to get out of this place from that stupid bird. Okay, they're just wishing me to take care, and um, if we discover anything, we should definitely make sure to um, tell him about it. So now we're at Harry's room. This is my dad's room. Ah, it's been two months. I've been living in the office this whole time. <laughs>そうだな。しかもすごいありさまだ。<laughs> what do you plan to do? You haven't given up on the search for your dad. No, of course not. ってなるんだろうけど。それは大丈夫だ。俺も一緒に探してやる。ああ。俺はお前が来る前から張り探しをしてるんだ。だが危険なことに変わりはない。気を引き締めていくぞ。よし、決まりだ。じゃあ、
He liked those sorts of musicians. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at his um his trousers and there's a cafe receipt in there. It's the Hi Hat Cafe. He goes there it seems as though he goes there every day. Interesting. These clothes here it looks like he had an intention to wash them. Shirts, underwear, all that sort of stuff is contained within. Looks like about a week's worth of clothes. And I guess they laid around for that long because he never really had time to clean them. Okay, it's a television, huh? It's year of the catcher watcher, damn it. <laughs> okay, um. So his dad didn't watch anything apart from the news. But apart from that, it looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Dictionaries, novels, gourmet magazines. And also a stock of some candy, sweets or something. I think he's saying that the television usually has the power turned off. It doesn't seem like he watched it that often. Okay. Look at the sink. And the washing up, the dishes are in the same situation as always. The only thing that is clean here is the coffee maker. <laughs> I think. Yeah, so that we can um, quickly get a coffee when we need it, I guess. Okay, so there's a recipe card attached to the refrigerator. And it's written in his mother's uh, letters, writing. And inside the fridge, it's empty. <laughs> It looks like he hasn't shopped for any food. Okay, so in his little um, notepad, there's a receipt again about sweets. Snacks, I guess. I should call them snacks, maybe. That's probably a better word for them. So I think he was just recording his um, spendings, maybe? Oh, or maybe it's about what was in it, because now they're talking about how much sugar... Oh, no, no. When he wanted something sweet to eat or something. Okay, I didn't quite understand that. Oi, Kima, Kima. What is it, Pikachu? It's a dirty room. <laughs> There's lots of things to search out. What's this? Oh, just as I thought, Harry. He was very, very thorough in his research. Okay. I think that was just a bit of an aside. Okay, so... There's lots of um, notes about his investigations. And now it seems as though there's a list of coffee beans or in the cafes or something. He's got a very big interest in that. <laughs> What's that word mean? Oh, Peter. I have no idea. Oh, that must, that could be a Pokemon's name. Some sort of case.
Thanks for the host, Asu. So the bed sheets are kind of crumpled up, I think that means. When he got up in the morning, he quickly jumped out of bed, it feels. Okay. Okay, so there's books and magazines and records here. Oh, he's noticed something. Tell me about the door not opening. Ah, it looks... Oh, that's strange. It's locked, it seems. I wonder if there's a key about here somewhere. Let's um, search areas where he might have hidden it. We have to find it because I guess it might be a clue or something. There's no, there's no key, huh? Let's um, let's look a little bit more in detail. But this seems like the way Dad behaved a long time ago, but. Um, okay, so this has uh, prompted us to have a few questions. Okay, so what what is something you would like to ask me? Ask Pikachu. What was Harry carrying? So do you think, what's that? We're asking about his dad and Key. Oh, he thinks there should be a spare key around the place. Harry Carey. Okay. Let's, we're going to ask about Pikachu's hat now. <laughs> um, Pikachu, about your hat. Did my dad give that to you? Ah, my... I don't have any memory of it, but... Baker said as such. Ah, surely. Something about the key again. Oh, okay, I, he asked him to search in his hat <laughs> for the key. What's the deal? Pikachu lost his memory or something as well? There's, there's things about this game that I've, I've totally gone over my head. Okay. Ask about Harry as he lived in this house. Um, so when, when my dad lived here, why would he... Huh? So just saying how he was a detective. <laughs> oh, so I think he used to, I think he's figuring out that maybe his dad used to hide hide his snacks and or hide things near snacks for example a sugar pot whatever that is I guess it's a pot where you put your sugar in that would make sense so behind it he used to he used to uh, attach a key behind the pot um, ages ago Harry is recalling and his mother was surprised when she discovered it Ah, uh, okay, so that's our next clue. But there was one other conversation option that I wanted to ask him about. Here we go. Where's the key? It's 
probably, it'd have to be here, but I want to search all the other things and see what it says. There's no key there. That would be a bad place to hide a key because it might set it on fire. So there was a vegetable stir fry it seemed he had. But there's no key there. That's not a place where you would hide a key, surely. <laughs> I like all these non-hiding places. Alright, it's gotta be here. I wonder if the key is hidden here. Ah, it looks as though he often drank coffee. It would be inconvenient for him to put one here, I, I, I think. Okay. I think I searched all the possible places to search for this area. Well, we know there was lots of snacks on that television shelf. Jelly beans. This jar, it's my dad's favourite um, sweets. Um, on his birthday or someone's birthday, the family, everyone together, oh, gave him it as a present. And I think he's saying that it's hard to come by them, they're not really sold maybe. Oh, I've probably misconstrued the last sentence. Um, yeah, you don't really come across these, do you? Pikachu says. I might take one. <laughs> what? You, <laughs> you're going to just go ahead and do that? Anyway. Underneath it, something dot dot dot. Pikachu, it's there! The key! It's the key! Ah, surely. And from here... This would be like... His sort of, his perfect hiding spot, wouldn't it? Great, now we can open up the door to the bookshelf or the cupboard. Good work, us. Right then, let's open this. Oh, it seems as though we can open this. Okay, I wonder if there's a clue, some hints within. What's this? Looks like there's some sort of memo. Show me it. Surely this is... Great, with this it looks as though we can track down your dad. This is Harry's memo, is it? Um, so on one piece of paper it seems as though there's some sort of crude map. <laughs> it's a football play, yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. So he thinks that there should be another matching paper. It doesn't make 100% sense by itself. Seems as though it's some sort of map, but... But, yeah, maybe there's some things that go together with it. So this area is Lime, Rhyme City. It's a map of the town. And... I, I need to look up another word. This is another one that's on the tip of my tongue. Hirushi. Mark. Ah, yeah. Ah, like on a map, yeah. And the place that has the mark attached to it is the place where Harry was going to investigate. Or it isn't. 
Or it is. <laughs> That's true, yes, it is. But yes, there's a mark written on this place, but... Oh, there's marks on the place, but the place of the... <laughs> the site of the incident should have only been one spot, though. Hmm, this mark. It is drawn in a different shape to the others. So I wonder what went on. What is the reason that Harry has disappeared? What's gone on? Mm, damn it. I'm going to have to look this up too. But that's good. We're learning some more Japanese. And I'm very, very keen to be learning some more Japanese. Just starting up, like, some proper study recently. Been over a year since I've formally studied it for reals. Um, I'll just draw this into my dictionary here. Prediction. Oh, yeah. Yosoku. Oh, that's from Yoso and Suisoku, which also mean predictions and guesses, and they've put those two kanji together. Oh, that's really interesting for anyone studying Japanese. So there's some sort of prediction um, written on this map. <laughs> Harry disappeared because he can't pay his child support. They're a loving family, Tenyaku. I wonder. It looks as though there's three places. There's a storehouse, a lake. And there's a Hitomoshi cave. Apart from that, I can't understand anymore. I think we have to search out each place one at a time. Yes, that seems like the right thing to do. If we go, probably we will find something else. Right, then let's go, Tim. Yes. Alright, finally. This is taking so long. Okay, so they're going... Firstly, they're going to the cave where the dad put a mark on his 